In this video, you'll learn how to assemble a wall cabinet. To assemble this cabinet, you will need the following tools and supplies. A power drill equipped with a Phillips head bit or a Phillips head screwdriver, a dead blow hammer or rubber mallet, and a staple gun. While an air-powered pneumatic staple gun will make the job easier, you can also use an inexpensive manual staple gun. We tested the Aero Model T50 Heavy Duty Staple Gun with success, and this model can be found for under $20 at most hardware stores. You'll also need the appropriate 3 8 or 10 mm staples for your staple gun, as well as a bottle of wood glue, which will form the primary bond that holds your cabinet together. Apply a bead of wood glue into the grooves on the back side of the front face of the cabinet. Next, fasten 90 degree assembly brackets as shown along the edge of the groove. This will serve to support the panel in place while the glue forms a permanent bond. Once again, the actual positioning of these brackets is not critical. They are just there to hold everything together while the glue dries. Repeat the previous steps on the opposite side. Next, slide the top and bottom panels in place. Now that you've got the top and bottom panels in place, use 90 degree assembly brackets to attach them to the front and to one of the sides. Leave the opposite side unattached for the moment. That way we can put the back panel in and then we'll put the third assembly bracket on there afterwards. The actual positioning of these brackets is not critical. They are just there to hold everything together while the glue dries. Make sure you leave the same side unattached on both the top and the bottom so that you can slide the back panel into place. Slide the back panel into the grooves, line everything up, and then fasten it together using a staple gun. Afterwards, You'll attach the back panel to the top and bottom panels using the inch and three quarter wood screws that are included. Put them in the pre-drilled holes and screw them in. Now that the back panel is secured in place, you can attach a final 90 degree angle bracket onto the remaining side on both the top and the bottom of the cabinet. Apply a bumper to each corner of the doors and your cabinet is complete. 